good afternoon uh, it's already one and if you check the time today is sunday december 2nd uh, gradually we are ending the day and i'm to continue with the my tutorials today's one is uh, something a bit different but it all has to do with online things and um, what we are going to look at is so simple like uh, it has to do with uh, mobile money mobile money payment let's say if you make uh, run transactions like if you send money mistakenly to someone what do you do just that just that uh, it might not look like it is something worthy of talking about until let's say it gets to your turn <laughs> when you become a victim then you realize these informations are very important and um, the network they are doing well they are educating us what to do and then how to try and then um, avoid people that try to be smarter on it well let's see and this is actually based on the practical experience it's practical experience i i i was a victim myself so <laughs> i learned a lot from that and i just felt like sharing it so how did it start um it's some months back um now somewhere or guess there about or guess there about I call someone from my hometown Gonfie and I asked him like uh, I want to send him money to like mobile money so that he'll cash it out and uh, I, okay then I said no second thought why not go to someone who does the mobile money then i'll send the money to the person directly so that you just cash it out instead of you sending i'll be deducted you also go and withdraw you will be deducted so why not me send it to that person direct so that i can skip that payment it was 1008 so like i'll pay around 20 cds or there about between 15 to 20 cds and then he will also pay that same between 15 to 20 cds so we were trying to cut that corner so I told him and then he took me to went to town and then uh, got some guy who does it and the guy gave him the number. I was in town I around Roman Hill I do I said do uh, KDT around Roman Hill. So he mentioned the number to me X let's say 0244 i was with a pen and a book like i had my diary so i wrote it then i asked him what name should i expect and then he said uh i think it's ns a champion or something something ns i remember ns but i can't remember the second name i said okay so when i got down i asked one lady can i please sleep by you she said sure so i sat by her and i took my phone looking through the diary punching 0245 I'll key XYZ I'll key blah 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 I'll key I look at it I look at the number yeah that's it I went next 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 confirm enter pin bam successful you have transferred 1800 cities to Kofi Ayu. Then my face changed. <laughs> Kofi Ayu, I look at it here to Kofi Ayu. There's no NS in it. I quickly call the guy. I call him. Uh, what name should I expect? He said Ernest. Uh, I can't remember the second name. He said the something. So he said Ernest. I said, ah. I saw Kofi and you. So he asked the one, the mobile money agency, Kofi and you. He said, No, not Kofi and you. I'm Ernest. I'm doing something. I, I said, Please repeat the number and let me see. 
then he started going over the number again one by one zero two four four then at the point i realized instead of eight instead of eight i had six <laughs> and that changed the whole thing that changed the whole thing thousand eight this is like uh, just august it's like no it's, i think it's september there about august august september there about i guess i think thousand eight is gone to confuse you ah then my heart started beeping like come, come, i can't believe this so i realized it was all my fault because i've written the name down i should have checked very like to cross check is that the name you're expecting i forgot to do it though i've written the ns down i didn't check so these things are real no matter how carefully you are occasionally you can sleep and that could be dangerous so i instantly i call um that number and it was switch up and I said, okay, then that's good. So I called MTN right away. I dialed 110. And we thank God now, if you call, we don't listen to uh, Batman, Linda, uh, what, 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 before they pick. Now they normally pick instantly. So they, they just pick and I reported and instantly they put the money on hold. So right away, I got a message that, um, your thousand eight is on hold she, when she actually came back she told me to wait a minute she would do the check so she did the check and realized she asked how much to which number i gave um am i calling from this say did i do it from this same account i said yes so after those petty questions she told me to hold on then i i don't know what she did she came back that i was lucky the person hasn't withdraw the money yet let's take off that thing that i was lucky the person hasn't withdrawn the money yet so they were able to put it on hold so if the person had withdrawn it shh, that that would have just been all oh, it's gone we will have turned to something like um is a police case or something like that which would take a year it would take two years because they would definitely do the investigation gradually to till they get the person and they arrest him but that could take a year or two or three what you say it would have been a fraud case so she said I, i'm lucky the person hasn't withdrawn the money yet so they've been able to put it on hold then i uh, i saw a message right away that the, the amount has been is on pending now waiting for confirmation what 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 i said okay that's fine so i asked her like how long should i wait and she said three days i said okay three days that is fine to send thousand eight to someone and to wait for three days i think waiting for three days is not anything big it was saturday so that's fine so it was saturday morning around nine so sunday so monday early dang <laughs> one one zero i called them that yes yeah, saturday i did run transaction and uh, just to check the status she wants somebody paid check and say it's still on pending uh, it's uh, three working days not like three days so it's three working days so like saturday and sunday are out i said really okay that's fine no problem and uh so i had to wait so that means monday is the first tuesday wednesday early morning i call them again and Today is the three. I may run transaction. I want to check the status. The person checks still pending. I said, I ah, know, but I'm told it takes like three days to to get it. And the person said, Yes, that is the initial time they have for to like to do your investigation. But if within three days they are not able to get in touch with the one the money like who on whose account it went into, then they will extend it to five working days i said wow so meanwhile the person is still expecting the money <laughs> like he's going to someone agent to do something i said no problem it will have gone waste so if i have to wait two days more there's no big deal about that it's around september because uh, the friday that will have been the fifth day was in chromes uh, day so that was a holy day I remember it's around September 
um on like founders day yeah it was that holiday uh, founders day yes september the fifth day which will have been um why is this saturday founders day ghana saturday was 21st September twenty first and September twenty first. Yeah, September twenty first was Friday. If I remember that Friday will have been the fifth day, but there was a holiday there, so that holiday was has to shoot my fifth day to the next Monday. So that fifth day I couldn't call them on the Friday. So the next week Monday exactly I call them again that hey my money is still pending. What's up? And they told me yeah it still shows it still shows pending so there is nothing they can do. I said are you said um actually the whole thing is the one who is checking to see is pending is this that's not the same person working on it so it's like there are people behind the scenes they are doing the investigation they do, doing all the checks when they like when they are done then they update then the one at the front end or like the customer we normally talk to the person will be able to tell her this is how far so they have basically have no clue they yes, is just to go and check it's still at pending and I said, ah, it's, you two guys told me like three to five working days. And it's just, this person told me again, yes, if you are not able to reach it within three to five, we extend it to 15 working days. I said, hey, <laughs> 15 working days. So yeah, I said, ah, what kind of inconsistency is that? Uh, and you know how they are trained they will definitely tell you sorry <laughs> and even if you are angry there's nothing you can do so i i got angry and i just ended the call <laughs> so 15 working days this person is waiting for this boy to do something big. i said wow but anyway it's still better than like someone cashing the money out so i, I was just there and i started to call to really see like what is the correlation how long do i really have to wait so i'll, I'll be there then i'll just call and you know one thing too is anytime you call a different person pick so you, you, are, you are not able to build history and i think it's very bad so maybe they have to anyway it's also no good they know you call one you call two they can yeah human nature if you realize you are worrying him you can decide to behave anyway but I think in terms of history, it will have been good. Because any call you do, you have to start explaining everything from scratch. The person will tell you, oh, have, like, wait a minute, maybe the call will drop, you call, you just have to start all over again because a different person will pick. So I use that weakness to test and see if they are really speaking the truth. So, okay, small time, like, a day I could call like two or three. Then I'll act like, I've submit my um how do you call it uh, a request for a reversal of transaction i want to see the status they will tell me it's still pending i say for how long they will say much money is 15 days i said okay so about three four five people kept telling me much money is 15 15 days so and at point in time i was then i said like ah no these people told you for three days they didn't work five days they didn't work so what's the guarantee that the 15th day it's gonna work out so i call again when one guy picked and i put it to him straight so like what is next after 15 days because at all this point they told me like they have to get in touch with the person to hear his side is it like uh, maybe i bought something from him he delivered i paid him and i'm trying to get that money back so in that case i'm now i'm now trying to be the like uh, the fraud guy so they really have to get in touch with that person to hear his side of the story also so that's what he kept telling me they have to get that's the explanation the 
no, it's not normally call the assistant, they normally tell me. I said, so I put it to this guy, Jack. So if uh, after 15 days, what is next? And then he told me 15 days is the maximum. If it gets to 15 days and they are not able to get in touch with him, they will refund them. And I say, okay, that is fine. So it will be there occasionally. I also try a uh, uh, Kufia use number. Occasionally I'll try switch off, switch off. So I think on the fourth day, within the five to uh, within the three to five days, I got him once the that number I mistakenly sent to Kufia you. And then he said. Um, Initially, he was dropping the call. As soon as I call, he'll drop it. Like, he will pick, as soon as I say, I made wrong trans, like, uh, mistakenly, I send this car, but now, now I cut him up. So, initially, I'm okay, it makes sense, because if I'm even there and someone just call me, like, mistakenly, I've transferred 1,800 into your number, I would think that person is trying to fraud me. So, the easiest way, or like, the efficient way is just to cut the person off. So about three initial times I did, and he was just cutting me off. And okay, he will go off again. You, I'll try, try like a day two. That's not where it goes. You get him later. You don't get him again. That is just how it was going around. So one evening I got him and just speaking, I told him that I do, Jack. I'm not a scammer. Like I'm not frauding. Check your phone. You actually see a money has been transferred, and I'm not telling you like to transfer it to me. You can't even transfer it because MTN has frozen that money. So please, you call MTN and then like tell MTN this money came into my account, but it's a mistake. That is all I want you from you. Just tell MTN because MTN is saying they are not able to get in touch with you. So you get in touch. Just call MTN the line they are one one zero and then tell them a money of this amount has come into my account. It's a mistake. That is all. And then he said that is fine. So um, later, I tried getting. I got him again, and I, uh, I, I think the second time he said no. When I called him this time, he said okay, he will check. He will check. So and if it's true, he will call him. And I said okay. So I just you know, the next day it took like two or three days. I got him again. That please, uh, were you able to? contact MTN. He said yes, that he did contact MTN. And MTN said no, like his call is not valid. If they MTN they have to call him. He doesn't have to call MTN. So I say ah, so it, it didn't make sense to me. Like Somebody you definitely call. I'll call you. You tell him they are working on it. I'm saying I'll call him and they say they are working on him. They are trying working on the money. And you told me because you are not getting in touch with the person. That's why he's going to that 15 days. So now I've told the person I've managed to get him. I've told him to call you because definitely I will be trying the guy's number more frequently than MTN will be trying. So it makes sense if MTN is not getting him. Because his line was almost like always off, so I call MT and I say, Ah, so what of you guys? You're not able to get the guy. I said, The guy should call, and you are telling me, like, his call doesn't matter. You have to, like, you uh, you have to call him, not him calling you. I say, Ah, so what difference does it make? And then the, the one who picked told me, like, uh, There are other requests in a queue, so. If it's not your turn yet, and you pick it like you call, then that means like they are skipping the queue to attend to you. So I should just be patient. When it gets to that, like my turn for them to attend to my, they will call. I say ah. So all these five days you were not even attending to me, and uh, so I I it didn't really, it didn't make sense to me and. You know, they, they have nothing to say. Yes, it's only to report. So she just kept telling me, be patient, be patient, be patient. I said, you don't know what I'm going through. So I dropped the call. And, and in fact, let me say, at that point, I, 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 I was frustrated. So if anything, I could say anything, that that's it. So I ended the call and 
it was just that way. I'll try, I'll try. Occasionally, I'll call this Kofia, you yeah, I'll get it. I said, I did not refund my money. He said, Oh, I remember one of the calls. He said, Look, like, anyway, he, that I shouldn't have even like called MTN to block the number because if he, I, like, I got him direct, he will have refund that money for him. Like, he's kind of religious i'm saying let me see religious so he doesn't deal with such money to pick people money like that doesn't hate that no there's no way he would do that so i should have i shouldn't have been told empty and i say well i don't know you know you don't know who is good who is bad so the, the safety way is to to first of all block and then let empty but i didn't also know to go through these whole steps because that was my first time it's something i've never done before like to transfer money wrongly no so we were just in it like that, like that, and then um, one of the calls I actually called and asked. So, uh, if I go to your office, would it make any difference? I asked this question. The one who picked when I called one one zero, I asked if I go to MTN office, would it make any difference? He said, "Oh no, it won't make any difference because they already have my, they already have my details already, and I've logged the complaint, they've recorded it, so." I just have to give the those working on the tran the, the transfer or like the reverse I have to give them that time and I said okay. So just calling, calling and then one of my calls and then uh, I think that was around the eighth or like the ninth thereabout and then she asked me have I gone to MTN office personally to make a complaint aside calling them on, on the one one zero. I said I have not gone. You see? You know, like why all this while I've not been there and I said no I initially it didn't come to my mind but when it came and I asked someone picked and then told me like there's no need because I already logged the complaint and she advised me like I should go to MTN office with my ID so I said that's fine so the next day I took my IDs and then went to MTN office and the guy there also asked me when it happened I said I was like a week ago so he asked me and, and you're not coming to report and I, so i told him the same thing like i thought like the online the 110 communication was enough until yesterday someone told me that it's good i come here to make it official so i went there and then they kind of log again they pick my id my everything and they try to send they ask me do i have that phone there around and i say yeah i have it so they try sending a message i'm not sure for what people maybe to check and see whether that is the real person who is here but they take the message they didn't come and it's not mtn i think it's my sin it was glue and i ported it to mtn i think in between maybe something is happening sometimes some messages it doesn't come i've used the number for um the two-way authentication like if i'm logging i'm supposed to get a message but that message is still don't come so they try try the message didn't come but i said oh these are my id cards so this is and it's, the number is mine so the guy to log that complaint again that uh, i've come to their office officially so and then that was so so i left and i kept calling 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 so around i think the 13th day or so in fact, I worried MTN a lot. A day I could call like three, four, four times, just to try to see what happened next after day 15. So on the 13th, I called on someone picked. He said, no, if not, and I said, ah, look, this is the 13th day, we have two days more. The guy says no one has called him yet, and no one has called me to yet. So all these 13 days what have you guys been doing and he said no i should just relax i said no i was giving three days to five days to 15 days so what is 50 what after 15 days what was what like what is next i actually got angry at, at that point and the, the worst thing was she told me after this 15 days like she can't tell I say, ah, no, don't, don't bring that one on board. How oh, long I've been told 15 days is the maximum. If it gets 15 days, whether they get the guy or they don't get him, they will refund the money. So you don't have to come and tell me, like, eh, you don't know after what will happen, like what the reverse team will do. I say, ah, what is this lady telling me? 
So does it mean it can go beyond fifteen? That, is that what you are trying to tell me? And he told me it's possible. I said, hey, <laughs> don't bring that. I ended the call. The next morning, I picked my cars again, and I went to MTN office. Uh, I went to tell them that no, today is the thirteenth. No, I think that was the fourteenth day. I said today is the fourteenth. No one has called the guy. No one has called me. And yesterday I called your one one zero, and someone told me it could go beyond, uh, like the fifteen days I was told earlier. And I don't trust you anymore because you said three, you've said fifteen, you've uh, five, you've said fifteen. So if someone gives a hint that it could go beyond the fifteen day, I have to trust. I have to believe in that. And then he picked my detail. That was on the day fourteen. He picked my details, my card again, and then uh, log another complaint again that I've uh, I've come there. So he look at it. This was another person by the same MTN office, KNUSD branch. So um. He looked at it and he said, "No, uh, that is too long. Because this fourteen actually that is fourteen working days old. So the weekends and all other things are there. Really, I've spent like uh, that is fourteen plus about three six days. About yeah, so close to about twenty one days already. So he looked at it and he said, "Oh, you should have." Um, you should, this, this should, they like they should have done the reverse already. So he asked me, is it like uh, some fraud related issue? And I said, no, it's not fraud. Is it like uh, the guy is resisting? He said, I said, no, the guy even said, if not call him. So he just looked at it and then um, he picked the phone and then he called someone that the person should please check uh, this refer re request for reverse and then see what is happening. And then, uh, so he told the guy that no, it's too. That actually they've done some. Uh, that uh, his statement was uh, even with our new policies, I think still it should the reversal should have happened. I said okay. So I, I he actually told me like the one I call is actually at the reversal side. That is the reversal team. So. He will just don't worry, he will do your thing. But I said, so like, possibly how long should I wait again? And he also told me the same thing that he can't tell. But at this time, is the the guy at the reverse side, he has given that details to, to check. And I said, okay, then that is fine. So I I left there, that was the 14th, the, the next day, um, no, it was the day fifteenth. It was the day fourteenth. As, as like. It was the day fifteenth. I I went to the MTN because it was that same day around afternoon. I was at the uh, even from there, I entered a Kingdom Bookshop to make a request of some books. They are cost. So it was there. That was after moving from MTN office about an hour to two, about an hour. Then I got a call from MTN and then they asked me like I've request for this that's the whole of this time where MTN is now calling me that I've gotten uh, I've made a request for this reverse I said yes how much I said 1800 CDs to which number I gave the number and she asked me like am I get in touch with the person and I said yeah I've got in touch with the person and the person said you guys have been calling him and that he's even willing to refund if you know, like I'm putting that lock on it like I've request for that lock on it and he said okay I'll, you'll hear from us again the, thanks for your patience so <laughs> I said you guys don't know so and that was that was it and uh, in about two hours more I was just there and I, I saw the message uh, that thousand each and has been refunded into your account I think hey that was on the 15th day that thousand eight hundred has been refunded into your account i said wow that was good that was good that was good so so i i just became happy and all my frustrations just disappeared that way so the next day on the 16th i said no this guy has done well that's the mtn guy who actually called someone behind the reception like behind someone at the 
prevents our sight and then um so I just passed by to say Jack, Jack, thank you. Uh, the follow up you did yesterday is actually uh, uh, I've actually gotten my money. Now even before I went there that morning, MTM called me again and then they just to make sure, like just to verify. So they, I paid the guy say he just want to make, verify and see if I've gotten the money through. I say yes. I've gotten it and I'm going to check my balance. It has actually reflected. Thank you so much. And then and then. So I passed by the branch again to tell like just to tell the guy that thank you for what you did for me yesterday. So I went and I said, Oh, he was actually the one he even called me on phone. I said I didn't know. I didn't know. But anyway, thank you. So I just told him thank you. I was just to tell and going he told me like it was a shock of my life that a guy was insisting that is his money you won't believe it the guy who told me oh me there me need power money me then car one lock on a crown can be you see come out i will have transferred the money me i don't spend such money it's even dangerous you can be cursed you can be killed look you shouldn't have blocked the money i will have transferred it for you the guy, I'm saying, I told me when they contact the guy, the guy was insisting that it's valid money he's supposed to get from me. And that, after saying that, he off his phone. Like, he, they, if they get him, he'll resist. No, it's his money. Then he off the phone again. So it wasn't like, it, 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 he actually told me he had battery problem. So it wasn't like battery problem. He actually. Uh, was trying to see if he can get a way to get that money. I said, wow. So the guy who was telling me he's not a bad guy actually behind the scenes was telling MTN that it's a valid money he's supposed to get from me. So he can withdraw that money. So later they told him to bring his details to MTN office. And he refused you see from my side i went to mtn office with my id with my everything so he's also insisting so they requested him to also send his details which he did in the mtn just based on that to make that decision that no and they have to refund the money and um at a point in time um when the guy asked me is it like the guy is resisting i said no he's not resisting I, so i asked him like so if they say he's resisting, what would be the the next step? You say yeah, if like he's resisting, then that would kind of be like a, something like uh, possibly police will have to come in. Like we all submit our details, and then maybe if it is caught, we have to go or whichever next step they have to take. Uh, I say, well, no, he's not resisting. Not knowing actually he's resisting. So that is uh, the hell I went through, and I I got the thousand eight hundred back. Now the lesson in this is, um, or oh, one mistake I really, I was nearly did was right after sending the money when I call his number. It's something I would advise no one should ever do. When you realize you've done wrong transaction, call MTN straight. Don't try to call the number, please. Don't, don't, don't doubt. Will he send or he will not? Fear people. Just call MTN straight away. As soon as you realize you've done wrong transaction, call MTN straight away. If you remember what the girl told me in the earlier part when I called, that I'm lucky the guy hasn't withdrawn the money. What that means is. If he had withdrawn that money, it would have taken years, possibly, even before they can arrest that guy. Not like years for me to get that money, for them to identify that guy and arrest. And in this country that you just pick, buy SIM anywhere and then enter anywhere and you get an ID. So it would have been very difficult tracing the guy. So don't just bet on that, that the person will, maybe he will send it. Just have that have mess let me wait for 15 days just accept that i've mess let me wait for 15 days so call mtn straight and uh, if i have to thank them they did that blocking 
and I'm sure um, I'm saying MTN because I use MTN, but I'm sure this has to do with all the network. These are standard policies. So I'm sure it has to do with all the network. Whichever network you are doing, when you realize you've done a mistake, call MTN straight. Or if it's Tigo, call Tigo. If it's Vodafone, call Vodafone line straight. They will, they, will, they will hold the money so that the person cannot withdraw the the, the money and they will do their investigation it might take that 15 days it might not for a typical example uh, a friend of mine who did that same mistake he did a transfer to someone that was 50 cities he called the guy that after transfer i've mistaken it transfer thousand five uh, 50 cities into your uh, account i would be glad if you can please check your account if, it, if it's true that please refund the money for the power was here corner for me and he ended the call <laughs> so he he just said that he like we should take your nonsense away i don't even have money to buy food <laughs> i'm lucky you are you deposited 50 into my account i'm going to spend it he ended the call so my guy quickly called mtn and then mtn uh, hold the money mtn hold the money so in like the next day my friend was there and then the guy called the, the guy called that my friend has blocked his account he wanted to go and withdraw money to pay some coco laborers <laughs> and he can withdraw the money to <laughs> the person no i didn't block it he said you called me yesterday you know he deposited money i should give he said no i call mtn and mtn uh, you you said it's a mistake so i call mtn they realize i've actually deposited that 50 so mtn block it and that is the bad side if they are blocking the account they they don't block your telephone number but they block your mobile money account so you can't do that withdrawal you can't even you have if you even have valid money in it you can you can withdraw so i the guy later he was calling begging begging my friend like please unblock it the guy said no it's i didn't do it it's empty and i have no control over it again so and but he was lucky he got it within the i think the third day he got the shifted within the third day but i'm sure it's because that guy's phone is on so it's not everybody that has to go through the hell i went through that 15 days no you you can get it like so just simple advice as soon as you make mistake call mtn straight away or if you are using vodafone call vodafone straight away don't try to like call the person and beg you bring his mind back like you can be there a message you come you don't even know you've really gotten a message or like you may not even check okay. but if you call him you are not drawing his attention that there is money and human is evil even if he didn't have that mind seeing the money and realizing he's hungry or he needs money to do it instantly he can just go and withdraw how much is sim sim is just two cities sim is just two cities and come on this our details we send is not something they can use to identify as that so don't just try to assume this guy will be good so as soon as you make the mistake that's all call mtn straight and put it in mind if mtn like if you don't do it fast and the person withdraws the money it could take a year it could take two years or it could never maybe mtn will be able to or your network will be able to retrieve that money for you so this is a personal experience i i got through frustration i just feel like sharing it so when you make that wrong transaction it's just short call your network straight away then you don't wait for like as soon as you really verify and right you've done a mistake call don't even wait for like two minutes just call call faster than the person can just walk to a mobile agent and then withdraw that money so that they, and if his phone is off that doesn't matter they can still hold that money so but if he's pull it out that is where mtn their limit is there it will be like a fraud case now which police and whichever body has to get involved and get you your money so this is personal experience and to to really to end um let me just add this just in the past week i've observed two fraud things relating to mtm mobile money and 
they are basic things and i've seen one sad thing too which i think are causes of those for example i i want to do a cash out and then one woman came she wanted to withdraw thousand four like she has a phone thousand four she wants to withdraw and you won't believe it she doesn't even know how to do like how to allow cash out you have a phone with the amount like thousand four in it and you don't even know how to do cash out so what that means basically is either you've written your they've, they've like someone registered maybe the, the 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 son or the daughter or a family member did that registration and they told the person your code is one two three four she you can't what is your code my code is one two three four like kind of spreading it everywhere your own your own family or like somebody in the house can just pick it one two three he knows it just send it somewhere and then go and withdraw your money so let's try and please if you can do simple cash out and withdraw like keep your code in your mind please don't use the account it's not compulsory but it's risky it's risky it's risky if you can't do cash out star 170 hash go to options is four and then allow cash out you say yes if you can do this and you are keeping thousand four thousand four and if, according to her it's like the money is more than thousand four but that is what she wants to draw to withdraw so uh, possibly MTN has to do more education on that because somebody who can do cash out please i don't encourage such a person to have a mobile money account please don't have it don't have it if you have it's good to have a bank account just go through that pain and then maybe go and deposit if you need go there and then they will hold your hand to some point at least there is in a the bank the employees also fraud but that is lesser than somebody they are it's easy for them to track that somebody outside somewhere you go and tell them you are doing cash up everybody is standing what is your code and you say my code is one two three four or my code is zero zero four either the last the gist of their phone numbers or the year they were born or uh, basic things like that and they use it for their password an account that holds like more than thousand four hundred cities so that is by the way now the two things uh, i witnessed this week you might not think these things are, are people out there that these two things still can get it now for example one lady she does this mobile money and then someone came that uh, kind of like i want to transfer to 2000 and she didn't get the money the two times and she did the transfer and then that was all she started oh i've left the money somewhere i've done what i've done what and but she was lucky and kind of uh, people came like she voiced it out people came and they were able to arrest the guy so it wasn't like she he left money somewhere no that was a trick so if like the guy wasn't that smart he would have just gone the person can do this transaction just get the money if not somebody you know maybe in the same neighborhood you know this person there if he runs away i'm going to his house and what if, even if you go and then you don't see the person or the mother tells you man i have nothing to do with this so I think this is something basic. If somebody tells me, do, tells you like, do this transaction for me, get the money, count it, look through it, it's not fake, put it in your drawer, and then do the transaction. Don't do the reverse. Like do the transaction and then it's not kind of like truck draw. You enter, you go and land, then you pay. See, you know, get the money first. So and that's how the guy, the they nearly fraud him on that. And then another one I witnessed that one thousand four, they took it away. They call him on a code. We are calling from MTN, and and they rather try to be the advisor. So they were advising the lady. This is the trick people are using. This is the trick trick people are using. This is the trick. So they listen, and they told them that they told the lady that because of that trick, we are now implementing this feature. So you have to set your phone. 
to enable that then they will start go here go here enter your code do this do this do this do this and then you're just following like a zombie thousand four is gone and that was all that was all. it wasn't joke like uh, if you will not do you might think it's a joke but somebody is not that advanced so let's try to share this information hope it will help someone please MTN will not do that. MT, it's simple. MTN will not do that. It's just like uh, someone will send you a message. This is a link. Click to go and update your bank details. Your bank will never do that. They will not send you a message. Click this link to go and update your records. No, they will not do that. Or as an amount has hit your account, click here to reflect. Your bank will never do that. These are basic rules. If we follow it, it will help person get away with this uh, uh, smart guys uh, smart guys so basically that, that is it for let's say in case you make that mistake in transaction in short call MTN straight the person you send to don't call him not him call MTN straight and then MTN will pick it from there that is all bye